Welcome to Remote Desktop Manager Getting Started for Teams. We have split this tutorial in five steps. The first one will be how to register your data source. Then I will show you how to modify your options and settings for team environment, followed by how to create your folder structure to represent your organization, then how to create your users and entries. For this demo, we'll be using an SQL server as a backend and as an account to log on to our system. We will follow how a company who's managed internal server and those of customers as well would set up their RDM. There will be a help desk and a service desk team. Step 1. How to register your data source. Let's start the application. So you have downloaded Remote Desktop Manager from our website and have registered your license. If you haven't registered your license yet, I would invite you to watch our tutorial on how to register your Remote Desktop Manager license. When starting RDM, you'll notice that you already have a local data source, which is in fact an SQLite data source. You always need at least one data source, so we won't delete it right away. Let's first create a new data source, click on the ellipsis, add data source, and I'll choose the Microsoft SQL Server and click on OK. Type in a name for your data source. I'll use my company's name, the name of the SQL Server instance using the default instance in this case, the username and the password that grants me access to the server. Make sure to take a user that is an administrator of the SQL Server instance in order to allow him to create a database and to create login as well. So my admin is David. Now that all the information is entered, I can click on Test Server to be sure that my server settings are correct. The next step is to create the database. Enter a database name here. Now let's go in the Upgrade tab and click on Create Database and click on OK. You can now see my newly created database. If you wish to delete your local data source since it is no longer necessary, just select your local data source and click on the X to delete it. Now I can exit this window and you can see my SQL Server data source. Now you should be ready to modify your options and settings for your team environment, which is our next tutorial video. Thank you for watching.